my no. opinion, leadership is most effective when you choose the most qualified people for the job. First tonight, Ottawa County's top official purposefully choosing a younger candidate because he wanted someone who could be, quote, bossed around. That's according to a new age discrimination lawsuit filed against them today. Thanks for choosing Fox 17. We first brought you this story at 6. Since then, Fox 17's Marisa Oberly has been digging into documents, working to learn more. She connected with a lawyer in this case to learn why it should concern people. She's here with the story you're seeing first on Fox 17. Marisa. Yeah, Jamie and Josh, that attorney tells me his client thought the position would be a good fit as he transitioned out of the military, but now finds himself emotionally distressed because of the alleged experience. It really threw him for a loop. This is a, a very qualified, confident guy. And for Mr. Kimball to be passed over for this inexperienced um, candidate when he fit all the criteria, um, you know, as you're approaching the age of 50, that, that can weigh on you pretty heavily. Ryan Kimball's life changed well, earlier this year, says Rob Howard, an attorney at Cunningham Dahlman, who represents the 49-year-old married man from Allendale. He explains in April, Kimball applied to be John Gibbs's senior executive aide rather than select a candidate that served as a battalion officer in the Michigan National Guard with numerous degrees, though. Howard says the Ottawa County Administrator instead picks someone because of their age. And that's why on Tuesday, he sued the entity over a claim it violated the state's Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act. It's something that a person can't help. We, we age and it should not factor into whether or not you can do the job. According to the lawsuit, Kimball completed two interviews, which went well. But in June, Gibbs told the county's human resources director, Marcy Verbeek, that he wanted to move forward with another applicant, 23-year-old Jordan Epperson. The lawsuit says Verbeek then sent Gibbs a chart that listed both candidates' qualifications based on the job description, and it showed that Kimball fulfilled 11 out of 12 criteria for it while Epperson only met two, possibly three. Gibbs went on to hire the younger applicant in July. Potential witnesses told Howard Gibbs stated he wanted Epperson for the job because of his age and could be, quote, bossed around, the lawsuit adds. A claim former Deputy County Administrator Patrick Waterman testified to in a separate court proceeding this week. That comment was made um, in the first uh, interview when we asked what it was about Mr. Epperson that he liked. And he said that he felt that he was younger than him and he could boss him around. And, and uh, we all said, well, you know, age shouldn't matter in this decision. Howard says in any scenario, the candidate with the best experience should get a job, especially for roles that serve the people. He hopes a jury agrees. It's important to be able to speak truth to power. And, you know, maybe that right hand man could say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure we should handle things that way. Or here's another way to do things. And when you're replacing a qualified candidate with a yes man, um, you're, you're just not going to serve the interests of the citizens very well. A spokesperson for Ottawa County said she could not comment on pending legal matters, but forwarded the request to their attorneys. They have not responded at this time. Reporting in the studio tonight, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.